Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll find out what is meant by a finite set and what is meant by an infinite set. So, finite set is simply a set that contains a finite number of elements. So, an example will be, let's say, we know that these are vowels A, E, I, O, U. So, these are vowels in English alphabet. So, this set basically is finite or infinite. Well, it is finite because the number of elements, if we were to represent this set by V, uppercase letter V, then the number of element in V is equal to 5, meaning we can count the number of elements. So as long as we can count the number of elements and it is a finite number, we call the set a finite set. So V is a finite set. One quick thing you want to remember is that if you have a set like this, and we have studied this before, this is called as an empty set, null set or void set they have the number of elements so if this is let's say a so here the number of elements in a is really equal to zero so the null set or void set or empty set is also finite set so you have to always keep this in mind let's talk about now what are infinite sets infinite sets simply mean that they contain infinitely many number of elements so what will be a good example how about natural numbers. We know that we represent the set of natural numbers by uppercase letter n and natural numbers will be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 all the way to plus infinity. So here each one of them is an element of the set n and there are infinitely many elements. So this is an example of an infinite set. Now let's take a look at some examples of sets and let's discuss together if we can figure out they are finite or infinite. First one is x. x is a natural number. Well, we just saw that. So this is definitely an infinite set. What about the second one? Uh, the, the set contains element x where x belongs to a natural number and x squared minus 25 equals 0. So if we solve this, we will get some value of x and then we can figure out if those values, they belong to a natural number or not. So one way or the other, we will find out some number of values, maximum two here, and see if they are natural numbers or not. So maximum we can get value, so there are two possible values, or minimum we'll get zero. So either way, this will be a finite set. So what about the third one? X belongs to natural number, X is even. So this set will be, it will look something like this. It will contain two, 4, 6, 8, so on and so forth, right? So this is an example of an infinite set. What about the next one? x belongs to natural number and x is prime. So this will be something like this. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and it will go on and on and on, right? So this will be an infinite set. The next one, here we have a cubic equation. So we don't really actually have to solve this pretty much the way we did not try to solve this one. So we know that maximum possible values will be three because this is the power of this equation is, uh, I should say power of this, yeah, the power of this polynomial is three. So there'll be maximum three possible values. Now we don't know, will all three of them will be uh, real numbers or they will be all natural numbers. So we have a maximum of three possible values and a minimum of zero. So either way, this is a finite set. So keep in mind, we don't have to solve for this question and this question. We are not required to actually solve these equations. Okay, let's move on. X, where X is people, I should say person, currently living on Earth. Now, this will also be a finite set. Now it is granted, this will be a very large number. It will go into billions. And, uh, but still it is a finite number, right? So this will be a finite set. And the last one, x, where x is a point on any line. Now recall that what is a line? Line is something like this that extends indefinitely on both sides. So how many points are possible? There are infinitely many points possible on a given line. So this will be an example of an infinite set. 